He plays the trumpet, studies engineering here at Purdue, and he's not even 20 years of age yet, and he can now say he's an inventor. Hello, I'm Kevin Rader for Comcast Newsmakers, and joining me at the Purdue Memorial Union is Riley Averon. Riley, welcome. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. What year are you then? A sophomore? Junior? Yes, that's right, yeah. Sophomore. Electrical engineering. Tell me about your recent app mm -hmm. about the Mars Curiosity. You were just explaining it to me. Mm -hmm. Explain that again. There are like three, right. and you're working with Scarecrow. Exactly. So there's one rover on Mars that, of course, everybody knows about. landed about a month ago. There's one here on Earth that is almost an identical copy of uh, the one on Mars. And then finally, there's a third rover we call Scarecrow because it has no brains. Uh -huh. And Scarecrow, we drive around in an area known as the Mars Yard. The Mars Yard is an area where we simulate the Martian conditions. And because Scarecrow is a different mass from the actual Curiosity rover, it acts almost identically with respect to the mobility system. It matches everything on Mars, only it's here. Exactly. Which is the big advantage allows you to work on it. What does your app do? And right. how did you come about that? So before, before I interned at JPL most recently this summer. JPL. That's right, to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Thank you. Yes, of course. Before I inter interned at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, driving Scarecrow was n not the I most simple task. It required carrying a laptop on one arm and following the rover around the Mars yard. Uh, and for maybe a couple minutes, this would be OK. But as soon as you had to enter you know, a very long command and stand out in the sun for three hours, it just it got unwieldy. And the problem was it was taking the engineer's attention away from the vehicle where it needed to be and putting it on this, this third party, this, this middleman between them and the vehicle. And that didn't make sense. So one of my mentors, who is also a Purdue graduate, uh, Jared Matthews, he called me up and he said, hey, we've had you as an intern before. Would you like to come back and maybe find an easier way to control Scarecrow? It's exactly what I did. I, I went there and for 10 weeks I worked on an iPhone application which does everything that the computer does in a more logical and easy to understand way. So now if someone says, oh, I have a reason to drive Scarecrow, how do I do it? I say, here's the app, go for it. And it's so intuitive that people can just pick it up. Will this eventually be on Mars? No. Unfortunately, the application is only designed to control Scarecrow and after three passwords and being within 100 yards of the vehicle. So uh, not only is it very secure, but it is also designed solely for Scarecrow. So none of my software will ever contact anything on Mars, unfortunately. But the fact that you're 19 and they called you oh, to help uh, work on that. Oh, it's so is exciting. Is that a little? You wouldn't believe it. I mean, <laughs> of course, Scarecrow is here, on, is here on Earth, but my contribution in some minor way helped with this amazing mission that we're doing on Mars. And that feels like you wouldn't believe. It's amazing. So is it pretty tough to go back into class now? <laughs> yeah, or what that's you right. You sit in class and you think, wow, I could, be, I could be at JPL right now working on Martian rovers. But of course, I mean, you have to learn. I have to get my degree. I'm only 19 after all. And so is that eventually what you want to do? I could definitely see myself working with JPL or NASA, uh, you know, the uh, Aeronautics Administration, doing, well, whatever, you know, cool missions are coming up because the future is... The future is wide open for NASA and JPL, so I could, I could certainly see myself doing that. Yeah. Of course, it's interesting, too. The field is so wide open, it could be something private by the right. time you... I mean, it's moving that fast. Which is exciting. Some people, some people worry about that, but frankly, I think private innovation is really a great path for uh, space exploration in the United States and around the world. Yeah, the fact that you're here at Purdue, the home of Neil Armstrong, and your name has actually been thrown out with him, what does that <laughs> make you feel like? Gosh, I mean, I, maybe that's a little unwarranted. He is literally a national hero, and right. I have done just the smallest contribution to the test rover for a rover on Mars. <laughs> so while exciting, I, I think it's unwarranted to perhaps uh, even talk about me in the same sentence as him. The growth that you've had, if you're a sophomore, in just two years from when you left high school, certainly does yeah. it seem real? The, the experience I've gained at JPL is so, f in 10 weeks, what I gained there is so far above and beyond anything I could pick up. I mean, look, Purdue's class is spectacular. I would never say a word against them. But real world experience? It was above them. Oh, yes, All right. something else. Riley Avron, a sophomore here at Purdue University. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely, thank you. I'm Kevin Rader, and it's Comcast Newsmakers.